Teachers all across the country are spending their summers preparing for a possible return to the classroom this fall, but it will be a teaching environment far different than anything they have faced before. Our Sean Stackhouse live this morning with more on how teachers are getting prepared and what this is going to look like. Good morning, Sean. Hey Lee, good morning. Well, just yesterday, Senator Susan Collins met with administrator from MS86, that's the Bonnie Eagle School District. They were at Hollis Elementary discussing a possible return to the classroom come fall. Teachers who work at Hollis Elementary tell me a lot will have to change to keep things safe for students when they do return. There is some anxiety about the fall, but I'm confident that we will um, find the balance with science and um, with getting kids back into the classroom. For Ginger Riach, figuring out how to get back to the classroom safely is on the front of her mind. How do we encourage those third and fourth graders to do the right thing and try to wear the masks and be socially distanced? With COVID-19 restrictions likely to be in place, it means common materials in her elementary school classroom can't be shared. We won't be able to say, here's our bucket of markers, go use those or scissors. Um, to be safe. So she raised the money through the website Donors Choose so all students in her class can have the materials without needing to share. Their precautions first grade teacher Stacy Steves is looking at too. There won't be that kind of sharing. Everybody will have to have their own set of pencils in their pencil case with a glue stick and scissors and that's what I have to plan for. This week Senator Susan Collins met with administrators in the district saying plans to return to the classroom in the fall are possible but schools will need help possibly as part of another COVID-19 relief package. We're going to need additional funding so that schools can reopen safely. These teachers say returning to the classroom is essential for the students' education, but it must be done safely. When you're trying to teach them personal hygiene or how to sound out words or how to recognize, you know, sight words, I don't I just think that has to be a one on, you know, a one on small group or one on one scenario. Now, there is no word yet on when Hollis Elementary School and other schools in that district will be returning to the classroom. Yesterday, Susan Collins did say that this should be a decision not made at the federal level, but rather on a state by state basis and even in some cases a district by district basis. But one thing is certain when students do return to the classroom, it will look a lot different. Live at home this morning, Sean Stackhouse, New Center, Maine.